be sure to follow me on Instagram. There you can hang out with me and talk to me directly. Okay, what's going on guys? This is Rob and today on Beyond Omega Level, we're going to be talking about a character that you guys mentioned in the comments of the Spectre video that you wanted to see and that you've been asking for for a long time. We're going to be talking about one of the most powerful characters in all of DC Comics, Lucifer Morningstar. Now, there have been several instances of Lucifer appearing in DC over the years, but this incarnation of Lucifer Morningstar was created by Neil Gaiman and first appeared in issue four of a Sandman series in 1989 before later getting his own solo series that was written by Mike Carey. Now, as for Lucifer's comic book origin, it all goes back to before the creation of the DC Universe, and Lucifer was originally an angel known as Samael and was one of two beings created by the Presence, DC's version of God, basically, along with his brother, Michael. Now, together with Michael, Samael, who adopted the name Lucifer, which is Latin for Lightbringer because of his ability to create stars, created the entire DC Universe as we know it. Almost immediately after the creation of the Universe, however, Lucifer rebelled against the Presence, who then sent Lucifer to Hell, where he ruled for 10 billion years alongside the demons Beelzebub and Azazel. Eventually, however, However, Lucifer became frustrated with the concept of predestination and grew bored with ruling his kingdom and with the stereotypes that he felt were unfairly assigned to him, such as the assumption that he forced people to do evil things. So Lucifer released all the demons and souls from hell, closed the gate, and handed the keys over to Morpheus, the title character of the Sandman series, and simply retires to Earth. Now the list of Lucifer's powers and abilities is almost too long to include here since he's a being that is nearly omnipotent, but I'm going to try my best to get all of them listed here. Of course, Lucifer possesses superhuman strength, speed, durability, stamina, endurance, agility, reflexes, and senses. He is immortal, having existed for billions of years, as well as practically omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent. Lucifer is nearly invulnerable to harm and has a regenerative healing factor for those rare instances when he does suffer damage. He is extremely intelligent and possesses telekinesis, telepathy, and teleportation, as well as pyrokinesis and the ability to manipulate matter and energy. He's able to heal and resurrect others and can also influence them through temptation and hypnotism. Lucifer can fly when he's in possession of his angel wings and can travel between dimensions and speak and understand any language. And so I'm sure I missed some here and there, but like I said, he has a nearly endless list of powers. Now, as far as how powerful Lucifer is, he has a list of feats that rivals his list of powers, proving he's one of the most powerful characters in the DC universe. Just in terms of strength, he was shown to be able to throw a human being out of Earth's gravitational pull and into orbit. He was durable enough to survive when his physical body was burnt to ashes and survived a blast from his brother Michael that was powerful enough to destroy an entire universe. Lucifer is also fast enough to circle the planet before an observer can detect that he's ever left their field of vision. Far more impressive than his physical feats, however, are those derived from his angelic physiology. I mentioned earlier that Lucifer got his name from his ability to create stars, but he's also created planets in sentient life when he creates his own universe to rival the universe of the presence, including his own version of Earth and Adam and Eve. Lucifer is extremely proficient at pyrokinesis and is able to create fire strong enough to destroy an angel and, in another instance, a group of Norse giants. And one particularly impressive feat, a wounded and significantly weakened Lucifer created an explosion powerful enough to destroy Fenris Wolf of Norse mythology, a being that had just previously destroyed the throne of the presence. Furthermore, Lucifer is able to warp reality, including shrinking buildings to fit in his hand and resurrecting a demon from a skeleton that had long ago fossilized. He's able to take beings that exist in dreams and conjure them into the physical world, cause immortal beings to cease to exist and create gateways between dimensions. He's able to create souls and place them into physical bodies, has defeated an entire pantheon of gods that are capable of granting reality warping powers to every individual on Earth and killed two immortal beings that had stolen the omnipotence of the presence by going back in time and blowing them up in the past before they gained their powers. He's also capable of time travel, by the way. Like I said, he's basically able to do anything he wants to do, and it's widely thought to be just like the presence at the top of the DC Universe's power hierarchy, which would undoubtedly make him way beyond Omega level. But I want to know what you guys think. What do you guys think about this? What do you guys think about Lucifer Morningstar in terms of the power he possesses and what he can do? I know this video is short, but I mean, the guy can do anything. Like, how are we going to make a 10 minute video on a guy who can do anything. Like, I guess just run off a list of all the powers that he has. <laughs> the guy's insanely capable. It's kind of nuts. But with that being said, guys, we're going to bring this video to an end. If you are new here to Comments Explained, make sure you guys hit the sub button to become part of the Rob Corps if you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you drop a like, and I will catch you all later. Peace.